When you received your new MacFlux, there is a plastic bag in the box with the certificate, the quick guide and the glances. On the certificate there is a calibration code which we need when we install the MacFlux. There is also the quick guide. On the quick guide we can see how to install it physically and how to install it electrically. From a MTK point of view, a MacFlux consists of three parts. The sensor, the converter, and the display. Inside the sensor tube we have the electrodes. The electrodes generate the electromagnetic field which we use to measure the flow. On the side of the sensor we have the sticker on which you can see the part number, the sensor serial number, and we have the calibration code we need when we install the converter. We can see the DN size, IP class and pressure class. Furthermore we can see the liner type and we can see the flow direction of the sensor which we also need when we install the converter. In case you have to remove or replace the converter, please be aware of the color coded wires coming from the sensor. You can also refer to the quick guide for more information. Then we have the converter. Normally the cables from the sensor will come up here and should be attached to the terminals. On the sticker you can see where which wire should go. For more information see the quick guide. The converter comes in three different versions. One DC version and two AC versions. When the converter is mounted and the wires from the sensor is connected to the terminals, then it's time to attach the display. This is easily done with the small connector. And then you attach the display and secure it with the four screws. The display is now attached to the converter. And this is what we call the sensor mounted converter. We are now ready to power the unit up and program it. It will also be possible to have a remote installation, for that you need a wall mount kit. After we have finished the physical installation, we are now ready to power up the unit and set it up. We will start to type in the sensor calibration code which came with the test certificate that came along with the sensor. Please remember that there will be a difference between capital letters and small letters. Typing in the sensor code is done with the keypad here. I will start to type in the, the first digit, which is a D. When all the digits has been typed in, you press OK and you wait the 5 seconds and then you press OK again. And the unit will factory reset and set up the converter to this typed in sensor code. And press OK again. We now have to determine the flow direction. In this case we will take the default flow direction which is A. The MacFlux is now set up and is ready to measure.